What's going on guys? Welcome to another video and in today's video I'm going to show you how to build a website using one of the templates from Template Monster. Uh, so this video is really just to show you how you can actually build a website like really easily, really fast without having to code too much because it's I'm going to tell you to, for, uh, for all of you guys it's okay to build some websites without having to code everything by yourself there is many people out there that they don't like to code like for example web designers that they just want to focus more on design and all these kind of things and they want to be able to to build their own websites so that's what i'm going to show you in here guys and as well if you're going to start freelancing you don't want to be building a website, coding it completely from scratch all the time. So it's really good to use this kind of template sometimes to make something easily and it looks really good in the end. I'm going to show you in here. Um, I'm going to actually cover this one, the, the Monstroid 2 from templatemonster.com. Uh, so basically, if I'm going in here, it's it's really I'm choosing this one in here because it's like really the file size is really small so the this kind of uh, WordPress template it loads like really fast they have like loads of different templates in here as you can see that they, they look really nice look in here this one for example if you would like to use it for a, a portfolio website uh, yeah, I mean you could you could do this for, for your clients for yourself for any kind of things but uh, let me just like jump into here and show you what we can actually do uh, so I'm in here on my on my WordPress backend I just installed the template and I'm gonna show you in here if I go in here into my Elementor and it's my template I'm gonna edit this one in here and this just takes a little bit of time so let's see what what we can what we can do in here so basically look at this we got in here a blank page this is one of the templates that I was using so let's say that I can actually go in here and let me click this magic button and I can select for example one one of these home pages let's say for example um, there is this one that it looks really nice um i'm gonna put maybe let's say uh i'm gonna put maybe this one in here yeah look this is just an example i'm gonna put insert so this is just gonna take a little bit like look it actually was quite fast but look now for example how i can actually go in here and just like change things quick quickly and also if I want to add my own so for example let's say in here there is in here our creativity is your success or our um, our success our, our business I can put in here for example our business is your success so I just like change these as you can see straight away really easy uh, let's say for example if I want to to um, increase the text size I could go in here on the side look style uh, where is it typography and look we got the font weight in here if I want to bold it look 400 500 like really easy I could look the font size is 58 I could go and increase decrease okay uh, I could put the style for italic normal uh, there's like so many things that that you can do in here and you don't have to code and uh, let's see something else the the font family is Roboto I could put Rosario <laughs> I mean let me just like undo this but look for example uh, what else can I do in here look I can actually look move these around to take more more space and less space I could go in here let me see how can I actually just ah look at this I could go in here click in all these sections and just go in here for example to advance and let's put the margin bottom to push this down a little bit margin bottom of 50 pixels 
Now this push this down. Let's put this now uh, 100. So now uh, I think this is putting like everywhere. I don't want this everywhere. I just want this here on the bottom. Ah, somehow this is like putting everywhere, but I just want this one. Yeah, but I, I, I have to look into this a little bit more, but as you guys can see, I don't know, look, for example, I want to change this image, I can delete this image and select files. Oh, there must be a media library in here for other, look, for example, these cups. Now I want to put these cups. You can actually look, title, uh, my cups, I don't know. Insert media. Now I have some cups in here. Uh, let's see this button. I can click on this button, go in here on the style, change the color of the button now to, let's say, yeah, this kind of color. Board, color, look, what's this? I don't even know. Uh, let me just clear this out. So color for the radius, plane, icon, I don't want any icon in here, general, let's see when I hover, let's see if I can find it, if I go in here, uh, background color, border, color, box shadow, it should be, it should be something in here, background border responsive, style let's go back to style let's see width aha uh -huh. so look you can increase the width or decrease you can increase the height look at this oops let's see the text inside if we can actually do something with the text so it says learn more so custom size okay alignment yeah, you can align in this container. I mean, there is like so many different things in here. Let's say, for example, we are in this section in here. Look, there is even an animation in here going on. Uh, we, we got this icon in here, so I can align this to the middle. Uh, for example, let's say now I want to move this section in here to... Oops, where, where did I... Let me just undo this. Let's say this section in here, I want to just drag it in here on the top. So it's just like moving and now I select this and I'm gonna put a margin top of uh, 20 pixels. So now it's getting a little bit away, maybe a little bit more, look. Some more space. Uh, what else? Let's, let's put this one as well in here in the middle, this one as well, look. And obviously you can delete delete this in here and just put some other things. There is so many different, look, now I, I don't want this in here. I can change this to this side. Uh, what, what else? I, I, can, I can actually, look, what's this? You guys, as you can see, there is so many possibilities with these kind of things. And I could actually create, let's see in here. I don't want this home toggle that is in here on the top. So probably there is going to be something in here, settings, ah, okay, I don't want any title in here. Uh, I'm going to add another section in here. So let's put, for example, a section with three somethings. And now I can, what, I'm going to click in here. I'm going to put, for example, some text. So I'm going to drag the text in here, okay, so here. And you got some random text, so I, I'm going to put in here, this is section 1. And uh, you guys can see, look, what else can I do in here? Uh, style. Okay, so I'm going to put the style, is going to be black. Um, so this is fine. Typography, I can actually increase the size. The color, maybe it's going to be blue. There is so many things, <laughs> as you guys can see, you have like full control using using these kind of templates. And this is actually something really good, like I was saying, for all of you that you don't know how to code or you know just a little bit or you are someone who doesn't like to code like web designers. 
if you know how to make like a good design on your pages or if you want just to create something easy for your clients look this is the perfect thing that you can do you can actually check the link in the description for these kind of templates they, they are called like drag and drops um, or, or you can actually like customize these as you want look look at these and it doesn't require any coding skills this is the most important thing guys because not everyone likes to code and not everyone wants to be building everything from scratch like i said there is like so many things in here that you can actually grab a template just modify it as you like and uh, that's it so i guess that's it guys check the the link in the description if you want to check this kind of um a template in here they, these ones in here are on um, on template monster they have a lot of different ones but i i kind of like this one the monstroid too because it allows you to do all these kind of modifications um so yeah that's it for this video guys i hope you find it useful put this in your mind that if you want to start freelancing or if you don't like to code it's okay to be using these kind of uh, templates okay because don't think that you are cheating because you don't have to reinvent the wheel okay because I, I give this kind of example all the time for people who are um what for example uh, imagine like a um a mechanic a mechanic is not gonna build a car by himself okay if he needs a car he goes and he buys a car because the car has been tested, has been built professionally by a lot of other people. And this is the same with templates, okay? So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.